Back in mm. elementary, mm. I thrived on misery. Mm. Left me alone, I grew up a miser, dying breed. Inside my mind, I couldn't find a place to rest. Until I got that thug life tatted on my chest. Tell me, can you feel me? I'm not living in the past. You wanna last? Be the first to blast. Remember, Kata, no longer is with the sea deceased. Calling the sirens, see the murder in the streets. Now rest in peace. Is there a heaven for a G? Remember me. So many homies in the cemetery shed so many tears. Mm. Mm. I suffered through the years. <laughs> Live Life Right is back with another video. BET Awards airs tonight, hosted by Taraji P. Henson. Um, it'll be on BET, VH1, MTV. When it was black owned, back in the day, it was only on BET. So, you know, everybody good to see you know see our blackness but there's some people in this photo that i want to speak about let's start with beyonce so i'm not sure if beyonce is going to attend the awards or not um i know her cousin angie um uh, played break my soul record in her post but keep in mind her cousin um is on the cast of Tyler Perry Sisters. So she's going to be there regardless. But I am hoping that Beyonce would do a surprise opening performance because she has done that before in the past. She did that with Deja Vu. She did it with Freedom. And she did it with many more. So Beyonce, this is how she likes to move. If she does um, perform on the BET Awards, she wants, she wants it to be a surprise and doesn't want anybody to know about it. That's just how my girl rolls. She um, did it before. So I hope so. Because if she performs the record, people can see her visual performing and they will understand it. And then she'll drop her music video probably real soon. The album drops on the 29th of July. So let's keep our fingers crossed. I hope Beyonce will be there. Next, I want to talk about Nicki Minaj. There were some issues in the past that BET, one of the writers, said something slick and dumb about Nicki Minaj. To the point that she said that she would never ever come back to that award show and i kind of hope i'm hoping that Nicki minaj would show up tonight because she has new music and i would love for her to perform both of her records especially we go up and so i don't know floxy brown said something on instagram that my girl is coming and then um dochi said um new york stand up I don't know what that suppose what that supposedly means. So I would love for Nikki to be there because she is nominated guys for two awards. And I would just love to see her there. I feel that her and Beyonce would shut down the BET Awards the most. Chloe has a new single out called Surprise. I really like that record. And a video is very cute and it's chilled, laid back. So I'm excited to see Chloe perform tonight. Can't wait to see her perform. Normani didn't receive any nominations this year for the BET Awards. So I'm not sure if she will perform or not. But if, I'm not sure, but if Chris Brown performs since she's in his new song and she's dancing side by side him, he might have her come out to sing something or dance. Um, I guess he feels like he's the underdog and he wants to help her out. This is what I want to say. Don't get me wrong. I love Normani. She's talented. She's one of the best dancers. Like She's, to me, on Sierra's level when it comes to dancing. Her vocals are not, they're not bad, but they're not that great. But she has star quality to be a star. But that being said, I haven't been liking the way Normani has been moving lately. Picking sides with Cardi and Megan. And the saying, the saying goes comma and what goes around comes around like she has been getting it heavy her fans has even her own fans has been bashing her about the fair record the fair record they're not even streaming it's been doing very poorly and um but because she's done this um being in this video with chris brown she has got a lot of slack um people saying to counsel her my opinions on that I really don't care for Chris Brown. 
let me say this. He's talented. That's not what I'm talking about. He's very talented. He can dance. He's not that great of a singer to me, but he can carry a tune. But he, yes, he's colorist. And I can't get with somebody like that. Like, I, I, I can't just bring myself down to just, you know, listen to his music. But since she was in his music video, yes, I did check out the music video. She did a good job. She did her thing in the music video. I felt Chris Brown, that was a good song. He was singing good in it. Um, but <laughs> I feel kind of a way. Um, I don't know. And I'm not putting this on Rihanna. But I'm thinking, do you really want somebody to represent your brand as a bassinger like that? Because for one, I don't know, by her kissing Chris Brown in the mouth, you work for Rihanna, Rihanna and Fenty. And you kissed her. Although Rihanna has a baby now, she's moved on. But still, you kissed him in the mouth. And people is mad, more mad that she linked up with him in the video because of, you know, the abuse he did to Rihanna. And, um, you know, my opinion on that is that they was like, well, keep the same energy. And let me tell you, let me tell you, you know, money fans something. Keep Nicki Minaj's name out your mouth. When it's convenient, you want to throw her name in it. Um... But like I said, Karma is coming back on our money. Like, I don't mean to laugh, but it's like she's got no nominations. She's doing all this butt kissing, you know, running behind all these females to have friends. But she's not working hard to get her craft out there. And yes, her record label is not pushing her. I get that. They're not. She's talented. But at the same time, you have social media. And I hate to put them, pin them together, but I'm going to do. I'm well. I'm not pinning them together, but Chloe Bailey is, is kind of sort of struggling too. Like her songs are not getting streamed. Like Have Mercy got streamed a little bit, but they're not really getting streamed. I haven't checked the surprise record yet. But one thing I can say about Chloe, she's so social media savvy. She connects with her fans, and. She's not waiting on the record label. She's pushing out singles. No money is not. She's just not doing that. And that shows insecurity. It's like she reminds me of Cardi B that just keep throwing out singles and not and not, you know, coming up with this album. You know, I spoke about that in my one of my last videos about what I respect about Beyonce. When she records the album, she hides, she records the album, and when it's time to release it, she just release it. If you want to follow Beyonce footsteps, release your album, nor money. And even Chloe can learn from that too as well. Because it's it's crazy to drag out singles. But like I said, that I think Chloe is closer to dropping her album way more before No Money is. Nor money is just always taking her time and she's always saying oh i want to perfect this girl how much more can you perfect you either got it or you don't and i'm not trying to be mean to nor money i'm just keeping it real and instead of kissing cardi b's behind megan behind and i honestly feel like um ryan destiny is her true friend but you know i feel like that she is a girl's girl which is nothing is wrong with that you you can have friends. I'm not saying that's not the problem. But if you want to be like Beyonce, Beyonce has her friends, her childhood friends and her friends. But she still got her work done. And this life, you just have to go and be a go-getter. And if you're not doing that, that's very telling and says a lot about you. I'm just saying. So it's just like... It just seems like that what goes around comes around is what's happening to her money. Although I do feel like she is being sabotaged, but you know what? She better take advantage of getting on social media more and um, playing some new music or something. You know what I mean? But I wish you all the best. I wish no money the best, and I really do. I want you to win, but there's some stuff about you that's just kind of tacky all right last but not least cardi b made an announcement that she will be having a surprise on bet awards my thoughts girl i don't care nobody cares it's like 
it's like, girl, go go away. Like, girl, you had five years to come out with your album, and now you want to just release yet another 20 single because you want to keep up with Nicki Minaj. You want to try to beat her to release your album because, you know, she's going to um, drop her album any day now. And it's just like you're so obsessed. I just, I, I just can't stand you. Just, you know, just I wish you would stop going to BET. I don't want you there. I, I don't. You're not black entertainment. Like, go somewhere. Go to stay on MTV. Goodbye. Good day, y'all. That's all I want to say because I'm not going to sit here and waste my time on this girl. And other than nobody cares. Because guaranteed if Beyonce and Nicki Minaj showed up, they are going to show you out. And nobody's going to care about your stupid surprise with your 100th single that you're releasing. Because, girl, you got more singles and videos with no album. And you've been doing this for five years. You're another insecure person that's scared to drop an album because you're sitting waiting on Nicki Minaj. That's why you ain't really dropped it because you ain't talented. And there's never no pen in sight. Every time you say you're in the studio, there's no pen in sight. You're a puppet. You're a puppet. You're a loser. And you just can't rap. (laughs) Goodbye, Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm y'all. There's no me without you. I can't be me. Don't you know that I will never leave, leave, leave you? All I need, need. Is you You know that I can't see myself Living without you Breathing without you Being without you, baby What you done to me You know that I can't see myself Living without you Breathing without you Being without you, baby There's no me Without you, I can't be, can't be. I never leave, I never leave. All I need, all I need is you, yeah. There's no me without you. I can never be.